Oh, OK. So this is what the future looks like, is it? Where is your get up and go? Got up and gone. <laughs> there is a whole wide world out there waiting to be conquered. So who's going to do it? Carpe diem. Yeah, it's probably easier to seize a day when you're a multi-millionaire, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's all true. How old are you lot? 17, yeah? OK, so by your age, I'd already set up my own business, which I started in the school playground at 14. A bit like that one out there. Selling mobile phone charms. No university for me. I saw a gap in the market, and I worked my way up from phone accessories to a fully-fledged telecommunications business. And part of that is the call centre some of you are going to be working in this afternoon. So what are we selling, then? Nothing. You are going to help people give. Right. Stressless giving is a gift-giving service. People phone in and you help them decide what gifts to buy. Really? Can't wait. Good. Ray is my right-hand man. Ow! <laughs> Don't be fooled by the clowning around. What Ray doesn't know about selling is not worth knowing. When do we start? Well, like, when do we finish? Hmm. Josh, can I have a word? Ooh, naughty, naughty. OK, so... This morning, we'll workshop some useful techniques, and this afternoon, we go live for some hands-on experience. Wouldn't mind a bit of hands-on experience with him. Oh, come on, Mads, he's here to teach. Plus, he's old enough to be your dad. So, I like older men. Trust me, you'll be at your depth in this one. Maybe. Maybe not. Look. I believe in calling a spade a spade. So tell me, is your problem the workshop, the business, or me? It's got a lot on my mind. Like what? Josh is having a bit of a wobble about uni, that's all. Yeah, I can speak for myself, thanks, Dad. They've got a tongue in my head, you know. OK. Let's hear it. All right, well, I just want to start my future. I've got loads to think about, which is cool, but I'm just not sure that spending the day in some poxy call centre is going to help that. This is all a bit late in the day, John. No, it isn't. Not for me. Maybe that's just because I'm a bit slow, you know. I'm not exactly Oxbridge material, am I? Yeah. Got ears as well. I heard what you said, Dad. Maybe I'll leave you two to it. So what, am I not good enough? Is that it? I can't believe you didn't say that. You know I've only ever got your best interests at heart. Yeah. Right. I thought you didn't want to go to university anyway. Well, suddenly it's Oxbury. No, that's not the point, is it? The point is, stop trying to make decisions for me. You're breathing down my neck all the time. I can't stand it. 